What's up YouTube, it's Elevator Ike coming at you with something totally different on the channel. Today I'm actually going to be doing a brand interview or brand owner interview with the guy that I met at my school. This guy is super young and I can definitely tell from his mindset that he's set on making something out of his brand and making progression in the future. So introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Zach Fryer. I'm the 15 year old owner and designer of an upcoming brand ICC Streetwear uh, out of New Jersey. Currently have some stocks in New Jersey and New York, and you can find everything on iccstreetwear.com. All right, seeing that you're so young and you're only 15 years old, I met you when you were in the ninth grade and now you're going into the 10th grade. What inspired you to actually start a brand? Uh, in the summer going into eighth grade, I actually started making designs on just like online uh, spreadshirt kind of websites where you can just kind of put on some clip art and print it. And um, I ended up making 12 shirts for some of my friends and everyone liked it so since then I just kept making designs and kept putting out new stuff. So I know a couple of people who have started brands and their first design doesn't make it and they quit. What do you have to say to people who have that type of problem? Um, one of the things you have to keep running through your mind is definitely that you have to lose a lot to get a lot and it's not necessarily about the money but it's more to me about like positive feedback and just spreading uh, my designs and seeing them on people. So. For an example, if I were to never start the brand, I'd have a lot more money than I do now. But in the process of losing money, I've made new friends, new connections, and put out clothes I'm really happy with. All right, speaking about the connections, how have you um, networked to help your brand out, like help spread the name of your brand? Uh, Networking is definitely key. Um, I currently work at a, uh, a streetwear boutique in Bloomfield, New Jersey and constantly there's DJs coming through, rappers coming through, and it's always good just to talk to them and, um, and bring up the brand whenever you're talking. Uh, I always tell people that you're not just branding your brand, you're branding yourself. So just kind of leave a good impression, you know, throw some clothes out here and there, and it'll turn into bigger things. Like uh, I've met people like ASAP Rocky. Um, I gave Chance the Rapper some of my clothes the other day. So just keep building connections and stuff will open up for you. So with your brand, how do you see yourself progressing in the future that sets you apart from all the other brands that are making the same designs that you see regularly? Um, well, there's a lot of trends, and I've noticed that a lot of brands are putting out uh, very similar products. Like right now, a lot of brands are inspired by Raph Simmons and his new pieces. So one of the keys is just to do your own thing, and I think that if you keep following on your own path, that's how you separate yourself from all the other brands that are all kind of going with the trend. So what type of demographic are you trying to reach with your brand? Like what group of people are you trying to get at with that? Um, I'd say like young adults. So the main people that seem to be buying and wearing my clothes are from age like 17 to 24. And then of course there's some younger kids, some older guys wearing it, but that's definitely my target audience. So I noticed that you did t-shirts, you have the joggers that just released recently. You did the hockey jersey. Can you see your brand making outerwear, such as coats, jackets, things like that? Yeah, actually, coming this fall, um, I've been fortunate enough to find a really good manufacturer, so I'm going to be able to make everything from, you know, bomber jackets to denim, which I'm really looking forward to. That should be fun to design. So what sets your brand apart from other brands? Like, what type of things are you putting in your brand that you think other groups are not putting in, like the effort or the design process, stuff like that? Um, I think one of the main things is that a lot of brands take shortcuts and they might put the same exact design on several different garments to make it look like a lot of separate pieces, but every piece for my brand not only is a different material or a different cut, but it's also just a different design as a whole. One of the other things is like, you, you might hear a lot of brands just don't send the clothes, they might scam people. Um, and one of the main things I focus on is to just have a quick turnaround time and I might even throw in like a free shirt with someone's order. I've thrown in free backpacks with people's order. It just adds to the experience so that when they open up their package, they remember it. And that's one of the, the good things about networking is because now they're going to tell all their friends and it's just a positive experience for everyone. Earlier you talked about money being a part of having a brand, so how have you uh, re Re in, like remade the money that you've lost from the brand? Um, one of the main things you have to remember is just to keep pushing your products. So one of the shirts actually on my site right now was put out in October. And in October, I did a whole professional photo shoot with it. I paid a lot of money for it and it ended up not selling. So I kept them in my room. I didn't throw them out and I just kept pushing it, kept pushing it. And now, 
you know this shirt is probably the most purchased item on my website so just stay persistent and don't spend money on yourself recycle it into your brand in order for it to grow so what about the people who don't have that money how would they support starting up their own brand like what things can they do to make money to start putting that into their brand like, um, what things do you do, do you yeah do if you're old enough definitely look for a job whether it's at a clothing store and it's clothing related or it's just at a restaurant um, it definitely definitely helps another thing is if you're looking at starting a brand chances are you're just a young entrepreneur so look into things if you're good at photography start doing photography for brands um, even just sell some of your old stuff if you have stuff sitting around your house clothes shoes whatever it is that you think you can make some money off of just throw it on ebay my brand started with a hundred dollars and you know now i'm putting out fully cut and sewn garments so just keep pushing so can you give us a little sneak peek or tell us a little bit about what you have coming up next i know you released the joggers so what's up next for the brand yeah um later this month actually i'm looking into putting out some shorts as well as a few new t-shirts um right now the designs are in process so i can't really hint at what they are but they should definitely be really sick and they're definitely original they're not just very basic they're eye-catching which is really cool um i'm looking to do a pop-up shop in new york in uh, late august and also i'll be in uh in los angeles the first week in august meeting with a couple brand owners as well as a uh, another manufacturer so i'll uh, look for collaborations coming up with bigger brands that'll definitely be cool i'm sure you follow other designers such as daring bruce how he has inspiration from music and rap such as the east coast versus west coast collection that he did what is your inspiration between icc streetwear um my inspiration really comes from my surroundings so i i spend a lot of time in new york city and i'll get inspiration everywhere from the racket h m to like a store like atrium and i never try to recreate a design and i never say a, a particular design influences me but yet when I'm sourcing materials and fabrics, I definitely look at other pieces I may like and try to find a, a similar material or fabric or cut. So where do you see your brand in five or even 10 years? Where do you see yourself in the brand? Um, I definitely want to keep the brand going so that in five to 10 years, it can definitely be uh, what I live off of. Um, I definitely want to go to school for graphic design and business to help me uh, progress the brand and I just want to keep building it to the point where it's global um yesterday or two days ago I saw a picture on Instagram that you met T Blake so how is that to meet a youtuber that people watch um, it's always good networking with youtubers uh, like yourself because um, it's really good to put the two followings together and it's always good if it's a win-win situation and remember that when you're networking so if you're networking with you know a celebrity their following is going to influence you and your following should be able to influence them. So meeting T. Blake was really cool. I've talked to him over the internet a couple times and uh, he's a really cool guy in person. And I definitely recommend meeting him if you get the chance. So where can people buy your product if they're really interested in it? Like where can they follow you, find your website, what's up? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at ICC Streetwear and the website is iccstreetwear.com. Also follow me on Instagram at Elevated Ike. You guys already know. Definitely hit that follow button. Also like the video if you really liked it, and definitely share it because this is something really, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same. Thing. <laughs>